Hey guys, my name is Tegan Marzen and I'm 24 years old Edmonton. from Edmonton, Alberta. On July 22nd, 2019, I was in my apartment alone where I suffered a cardiac event and was unconscious due to a severe illness. My mom had a bad feeling about it, so she came to my apartment where she had to parkour up to my balcony. Luckily, I didn't leave my screen door locked. But then once she got there, she realized I was unconscious. So she had to call an ambulance, of course. I got into an ambulance and I was rushed to the Royal Alec Hospital where I was in a coma and I later spent 31 days in the ICU and 21 days in the units there. The cardiac event that I suffered resulted in lack of oxygen getting to my brain where I then suffered a traumatic brain injury. It also caused most of my internal organs to shut down or be damaged at least. Tegan, open your eyes for us, Tegan. Can you open your eyes? Try again, open your eyes for me, Tegan. Okay. Tegan, can you wiggle your toes? Move your feet for me. Wiggle your toes, Tegan. And uh, I had to get a back surgery where they removed half of my right lung because I had developed necrotizing pneumonia in both of my lungs. Okay, go down. <laughs> okay. I was later transferred into the Glenrose, which was a rehab facility or hospital where I spent 135 days. And then I was transferred from there into Halver Johnson, uh, a center for brain injury for 58 days. When I first went to the Glen Rose, I could barely move my left arm and my right leg. And I had a little bit of movement in my left leg, but I had, my right arm was, it was dead. And I, I, was, I was down to 94 pounds, where I started the my coma at 135 pounds. I couldn't hold my head up straight by myself. And basically I had none. I have no really mobility like on my, by myself. I had to be 100% taken care of. So if we um, give you some propping, you can lie down here. Yeah. Okay. What it meant <laughs> how I moved around was that I had to be lifted up from my bed into a wheelchair using a lift system. I would then be brought to my various appointments or like schedules. Well, I learned how to walk again. It started small and I originally just had to use a, like a wheelchair, but then I, I moved up to an Arjo where you just hold on to these bars and you move your legs and you walk, you walk with them. There was the, that other thing, remember the local map? Oh yeah, the local mat. The local mat was, they strap you into this harness and they put these robotic legs on you, there you go. and it mimics the movement of walking. Do you feel the stretch in your ankles at all? No. And then from there, I started walking with people hanging on to me, and eventually I learned how to walk by myself. I was expected to be at Harvard Johnson for six months, but I was working on how to swim because apparently with a brain injury, your upper, upper extremities and lower extremities don't, they're not in sync. And so it's really hard to swim. I thought like when I hop in the pool first, they asked me if I could do a freestyle. I was like, yeah, of course I can. So I knew how to swim beforehand, but when I tried, it was just my arms moving or just my legs moving, not, not at the same time. And then I was learning how to run as well but I, that was cut short because there was a suspected, suspected case of COVID-19 in the hospital. And so the doctor came and talked to me and said that I think it's actually safer for you to go home.
because he knows how high risk I was. Yeah. So he recommended that I go home. So my dad and my girlfriend came and picked me up. Let's see. Smile. How, how did this all feel for you? Well, it felt like, I mean, as most people, no one likes the hospital, to be honest. And so when I was in the hospital for almost 11 months, it got tiring. I was, I was honestly sick of the hospital at that time. And what was especially depressing was that I was used to, like I used to be an elite athlete, where I was on, like I was on the national team for gymnastics for seven years. And I used to, I was an avid rock climber, avid skateboarder, and just all around adventurer. I also forgot how to ride a bike. And so now my goals are to relearn how to swim, relearn how to run, and relearn how to ride a bike and skateboard as well. Because like that was my normal life beforehand, and that's why I want to get back to it. I can't even do a handstand now. I can do a front roll, maybe a back roll, I've never tried, but I can't even do a handstand against the wall. So at the Glen Rose, I was working on my balance with my physiotherapist. I had to get down from laying down onto my feet. But when I stood up, I was leaning too far forward. And so I just instinctively did a forward roll. And Janice was like, she, she was super surprised. She's like, you honestly thought you were just gonna get another brain injury right there. But your muscle memory kicked in. The main goal at Aver Johnson was to get me better physically, but also to prepare me for school and to be independent on my own. Because I, I did live by myself at the time. That was the ultimate goal, but it was cut short, but that meant that I was missing four months of rehab. Because of my brain injury, I also lost my driver's license, which has really affected me to be able to get a job. And when I was working at Harvard Johnson, they were also preparing me for university which I'm now signed up in, but I also missed four months of that. My goal is to eventually become a sports psychologist due to my understand, understanding of elite gymnasts and what it, or not gymnasts, athletes in general, and what it takes to be an elite athlete. However, I also am now interested in possible psychology that has to do with the brain. So like more like neuropsychology, because I've had a brain injury. And if I become a psychologist, I'll be able to level with these patients or people with how it felt and what you had to do to get through a brain injury. So my girlfriend, Erica, she is a dietitian and my eventual goal is to be a sports psychologist and her eventual goal is to try to be a sports dietitian. The other week, we actually climbed a mountain, which was crazy. I, I, I got tired during it, but I managed to make it to the top. That's always what we love to do, and we continue to look forward to doing it again, and to keep doing it. And so this page will mostly comprise of my journey to regaining these things that I want to regain. I thank all you guys for your support. It means a lot to me. Thank you for following my journey. <laughs>